as I often tell college classes, you talk about multiculturalism in the classroom, and you're singing other group songs, and you're learning to respect other groups and other races. And I ask then, where are the multicultural grocery stores in your neighborhoods? Where are there blacks and Koreans owning the grocery stores? Where are there blacks and Koreans owning the, the, the uh, vegetable markets? Where are there blacks and Latinos owning stores and businesses? Where are there blacks and Arabs owning? Where is the multiculturalism that you talk about so much in these schools and in these colleges in real life? When you walk out of these doors and you're taught by multicultural teachers, you're taught by white teachers, and you're taught by teachers from other ethnic groups, but when you walk out of that door, you see essentially one group of people, one group of ethnic group, uh, people, owning your neighborhoods, owning your, your vegetable markets, owning your businesses, controlling your community economically. So the reality of the school is not the reality of the world. The glorious sounds of Martin Luther King's speeches are not the realities of the world. And you must come to terms with the realities of the world. 